What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today we're playing some Killer Frequency. So I made a lot of videos some, a while ago where I played like Roblox with my friends, The Mimic, and then we did Chill Ones in the Doors. And I had a really fun time with those games, but now I'm playing Killer Frequency. I tried to play this like a while back, but I had problems. I got busy and it's basically forgot about it. But we're here now, so let's jump right into it. Get started. Uh, okay, so the point of this game is basically you're a radio, you're a radio host, and oh got beer. I got a oh I dropped my beer. So you're basically a radio host, and oh nah. So you're a radio host, and you're hosting a show. Okay, shut up. Okay, X. Okay, square to be expecting square to exit. Okay. So the point of this game is you're just trying to save people. Oh, I got this mug. Fam. Okay, that was a loud mug. Okay, back on track. The point of this game is to save people. They'll call in, and your goal is to save them. Okay, that didn't work. But yeah, go save them. That's the just this game so let's jump right into it I gotta find out how to get inside um do I press this no okay crouching oh here we go okay let's shut that door it's shut Pick up on paper. Oh. Oh, okay. I was I was trying to read what the paper was about. Oh nah. Nah. Um Oh hello there, kind sir. His hair makes him look like the guy from the room. His hair makes him look like the guy from the room. Oh! Damn! Like, I was gonna say, his hair made him look like the guy from his room. I forget his name. The guy that said, Oh, hi, Mark. You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone. Oh, yelling. hi, Mark. I don't know. How? Oh, uh, that. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? That's a map. Cats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre flight check? Traffic notice. Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call him that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show, and he pays Wait, us I... to call it a pre flight oh my gosh. check. Come on. But if you're sure you don't want to. Oh, how'd I throw? How'd I throw? Oh, wait, uh. I already. Well, I already know how to do it because I played it before, so. Let's just get started. I know how this goes. Y'all okay, pick up, big shot. Sure. Any technical failures tonight are on your head. How do I. Pick... Let's get the show started. I forgot the throw. Triangle. Is guess that scream? Let me let me make this in the thing first. Joke. Come on. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Come Reggie on. all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, you're live in three, two. One eighty nine. Damn it! I was trying. I was gonna try and throw. Okay, twelve a.m. I'm assuming that's twelve a.m. So it's gonna work like five. Three. Oh my god. This is your host, Forrest Nash. After you're the mimic. Hey. The After the mimic, Before I'm just assuming anything that starts at anything that starts with a time is resembling FNAF. I'm sure it's not, but I, I already played them like all oh, fucking like FNAF. Whatever. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. I need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe? Saw off a finger? Or Discover the corpse of a loved one. That's Damn. Good. Now, Forrest, hit that, the I don't think that's good. Play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to 
Guess that scream. Kappa. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I'll set right. have a tape guy do that for me. Where do I set my uh, headphones? I'll set right here. here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Well, can I hang on? Oh, I can hang on the microphone. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing oh, this okay, tonight. Okay, stop. Uh, hey, gonna... Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. I don't no, have the tape. I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Fair. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so... <laughs> I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Back. I had to step Mike away out. there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. The perturbed Yeti scream, the falling from the cliff scream, the drowning scream. I wonder what a perturbed Yeti is. <laughs> what the hell? Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. What the? Fried dough. Just call in at five five. What is fried? K fam with your guest. Isn't now, isn't that just a donut? Susan, what isn't that just like a donut? Dying. Isn't that just a donut? Oh oh, I gotta put on music. Uh, there. Isn't that just a donut? Sure. Listen into this next track. Isn't this? But yeah, isn't that just a donut? Isn't there. fried dough just like a donut? Thank you. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Boris. I got to what's over here. Gallows Creek. Traffic notice. Oh, I can't go in with it. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh, okay. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right. <laughs> just, I just throw it. Welcome to 189.16. The scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Why are you calling us then? <laughs> slow night? Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found oh. a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, why I do really you? Don't think what this happened is for you to put that in your contract? Oh crap! I got the thing up there. Oh, sorry. You should call the sheriff. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name, Sheriff? Andrews or whatever. I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh! What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Oh my gosh. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Oh, it's not gonna be the... Oh. Uh, is there anyone else? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? What if we have to hide in here at one point? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer three. Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, but do you have any Afro idea who could sucked. have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring him back with me. But if you leave while there's a murder around the loose, 
Who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. What? Forest, I've routed all nine. Huh? Calls why me? No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between. Oh, the two wait, I got a soundboard. Yes. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training <laughs> right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It All looks right. like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's um, too narrow for me to reach through. Get something like long, like up long to reach it. Uh, another set of keys. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Probably on the sheriff. Maybe I believing. Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. I think you got one. Did I? Oh, I think I might be sick. I don't, I don't know. Serial thrill up. Payback. Please don't stare at me. Okay, I'll, I'll really, okay. I'm going to get a song on here. So it's Wait, ready. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Whoa. What are the keys worth? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Pretty bad. Because I'm going to... This might be a prank. Like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this. All right, somebody called me, so I had to stop recording, but I'm back now. Just gotta see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. Gotcha. Martinez would be a sitting duck. Okay. Oh, uh. That's a good idea. Yeah. I don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh! What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did Somebody exploded in it. Wait. What? No. No way. This cat. Oh, oh nah. Big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Oh. Right? But that mask. Clearly not. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Oh, wow. Well, I don't way. think so, man. I don't think so, Peggy. Stay inside and lock the doors. Oh, right. giving a quick that one I did. Give me a click that when he did. What? I thought I clicked it in time. Uh, I guess that. Uh, crap. Uh, damn it. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like I thought I clicked it in time. I guess that's the saying. Hey, you gotta be prepared. Oh, just poured me a drink. 
Oh, I wanted some apple juice. Yes, I drink apple juice. Don't judge me, please. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. Yay. Wait. I'm smart. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Uh. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Shit. It's empty. He it's must have weapon. emptied it trying to defend himself. Oh, crap. That's your pistol. I mean, you could still pistol whip him. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with her baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Okay, let's see. Okay, the pepper spray is basically pointless because he has a mask, so that's pointless. The taser... Okay, depending what type of taser, if it's the one that has the two strings to shoot out, then that'd be good. Taser. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. Because baton Just would be up close. Martinez, and then... The mace would be... Wait. He has a mask, so by process of elimination, it has to be taser. No, I, I yeah, can't I can't hear it. anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. No more knocking. I uh, be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay. Damn it. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. What? Are you what? Sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Okay. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. Damn. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Yeah, but I wasn't expecting a full-on murder. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. All right. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. <laughs> I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm yeah. going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! The whistling! No! Get oh. off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Take oh. that! Leslie, drive! Drive. We're out of here. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Woohoo! Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well, I'm Leslie. smart. You saved a life. I'm smart. Just day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Uh, floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Gotcha! Try not to crash. Not crash! We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie! Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez!
I can't do that. Killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. Yeah. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Yee. <laughs> oh. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. This is not you what I did not for, introduce it. You just said, I hope you enjoy it. You didn't say the name of it. It's, it's clearly hours. this one. This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... Dang. Oh, I, I gotta keep... I gotta stop walking away from that. And he's... Come back tonight? Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was... Well... It was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So Dang. he's alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer Sorry, on my hands dog, today, I just fed him. I don't know. Uh, guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Uh, really? Only 35? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows? So, so most exactly. of our listeners a are just... Over a thousand? Oh. How many did you So get most of our listeners are kiss no. kids? Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Damn! A million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah. Oh, go, what? Come on! That was tonight. right there. Oh, call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Time to turn the music off. Okay. Wee! All right. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything uh, all right? Oh, hell nah. Hell nah. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, what's the, what's the music? Uh, Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Yeah, he's not gonna give us his name. You know my name. No, I don't. I've come back from the dead to Yeah, this is a this is a pranker. No one safe. It's, it's 1987. Do you accept a quest? You don't have to do this, Mr. Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Oh, but You're I talking to him like the dog. You must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us. I mean, That's a prank. <laughs> you want 
<laughs> you said we again. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Bro. I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to deal yeah, with Yeah, yeah, let's go. You're little shits, you know that? I'm <laughs> in death tonight. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> man, suck it, old man! Gallows high for one! What the hell is that? For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Do I, oh, do I start a song? There you go. No instruction. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. Damn. Christ. Let's Damn. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. All right. Yeet. Let's go. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? Uh, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name? What's your trouble? And my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Uh, sorry, you can't do that. Sorry, I was texting somebody. The cops aren't. I'm not gonna say the sheriff's dead. I'll just say the cops aren't coming. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Hand. That is the whistling man. It's actually happening. A jazz run? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere. Oh, along crap. Way. I never locked the door, so I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Uh. Sounds like you lost, but I think you'll be fine. No, clearly not. Uh, is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Oh, uh, crap. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. <gasps> Look, I don't know a thing about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're um... gonna have to. I don't know. Wait, 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 I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. I don't know about cars. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic and savior. You sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The yeah. Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's All right. Weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. All right. Out door, down the hall. I'm not getting in there tonight. Damn. Uh, maybe it's in here. No. Uh, find some about cars. Oh, coffee. Um. 
No. No. So many locked doors, so few keys. Here we go. Oh, I got to get the little bird thing. Come on. You can do it, little guy. Oh, okay. Uh, we're looking for uh, something about cars. Ah, here we go. I think. No. Uh, that has to be something. Um, twins, I borrowed your car theft magazine. Those where? Those huevos on shadows aren't, aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Alright, so we gotta go to the bathroom. And sorry for my horrible Spanish. Uh. No. Got it. But, there you go. Has been here. No. What, what kind of stall door opens like that? No. Oh, hell no. Oh, wait. Is that it? This looks useful. That's it. Let's go! We found it! Yeah, here it is. Alright, let's get into it. Did you find it. anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Whoa! Mission so okay, I'm recording. Let's go. We're back with 189.16, the scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Uh, use the... Wait. Use screwdriver's key, okay. Put the screwdriver in the ignition. And twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. I. Oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Um. What does it say next? Remove the steering calm cover. Hit the steering wheel with a hammer. Unscrew the steering column. All right. God, how long are these screws? Okay, covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up, and oh god, my heart is pumping. Okay, you doing great? Tell me exactly what you see. All right. Okay. What's the serial number? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Okay, okay. Sandra says... Alright, so we got... Okay, I gotta read this. There's a 4 before a 3 in number 7. There's a 7. Before a 3 in 7. Oh, no 7. Okay. So it's not red and blue. It is a six anywhere in terms of a five. Okay, that's not it. So I think it has to be red and yellow. Yeah, it's red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Uh, strip the purple wire. Oh, fuck. It's frick. Sorry, I keep swearing. Sorry. Frick. Uh, do not touch this live wire. 
It's one of these two. Oh, no, wait, wait. Brush the purple wall, twist against the twisted wires. Brush against the twisted wires, so it's Strip that one. Purple wire and brush against the twisted There's probably going to be a quick time event saying to not touch the white wire. Wait, do we do it? Do we do it? Fantastic work, baby. You come down we did it. Studio, we did it. Not a single, not a single screw up. Just keep just driving. Keep driving now, okay? Not Get a single safe. screw Get up. Safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Woo! We did it. Not a single sure screw up. Trip. That we're ja excited to share with you. And Shut remember, up, if you're also Forrest. Troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Right, uh, Take it away, Forrest. We're, I'm trying to grab this white, this white one. Oh my gosh, come on. Storm Riders. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with... The Glam Jam. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? I'm trying no I, I, I keep forgetting it's right there. Peggy, be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Oh. Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there's <laughs> something you like about this place. Uh... I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible, after a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. <laughs> it's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, <laughs> I hope the killer is done for the night. Yeah, given the, the fact this, there's soon. a lot more for this game, clearly you're not done. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Well, I was going to pick up that tape at 1242. Thanks, we're already getting with something else. Caller on line one. Uh, okay, let me place this. I'll place it right here. Alright. Uh, let me turn on my sensitivity. There you go. Okay, Forrest, uh, shut the music off. Okay, that, okay, that's way too much, whatever. Good evening, caller. This is Forrest. Sorry. All right. Smash, post of Much better. The scream and tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hey. Hello, Brian Ponty. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that deputy Martinez survived. Yep. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponte's Pizza. Oh, you Ponte's did a really Pizza. Sorry, my mic. Give him my card. Ponte's Pizza. You that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponte's Pizza. Wow, Brian, that's really good of you. You really don't have to. Though. Yeah, no. It's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals. We'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza yeah, we um, have is to die Not a... Oh, yeah, not a bright oh, choice of words. <laughs> yeah, uh... Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. Yeah, uh, who is? We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous yeah, uh, beer and pizza Can deal. we stop? Wait a minute. 
Come on down to Porty's Pizza this Can we weekend. stop? You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Bruh. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. Oh, you know how to play what, an ad, right? What? Yeah, you, uh, put in that thing. Speak to 911. Put Leslie Mike on. keeps what? cutting. God, another one? I am 911. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. I'm willing to do an interview for the reporter. I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. <laughs> there's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. So oh yeah, it's not like there's a killer on the loose. Broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Uh... Wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye. Oh, damn. Marshal Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Yeah, he's uh, back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny, old man. But they didn't live through the Whoa, terror what is 30 him, though? years ago. I know for a fact, Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Well, he's not. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom, upstairs. Well, you gotta get out! Security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Okay. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah. I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. All right. All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across Maybe. the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And buy him time. That could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Well, we're gonna get that. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Oh. I guess there's a, you, I guess it got printed. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. It sounds Russell. like a printer. Here. Freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Yep. Don't let me down. Oh, when I on my off time, I put that there as a doorstop. Oh. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax oh, machine's know. in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Yeah, I propped it open. Whoa, what is okay. that? Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the facts from the machine. Easy. Yeah, very easy. This must be it. All right, let's see this. Okay. Let's -a go. Super Mario. Hey, did you get the fax? 
Yes, I have. Let's, let's go. go. You uh, you still well, let's go. You get my facts? Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Good. All right. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks. Keep it we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's yeah. The situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Okay. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Okay, so if it's in the... Okay, so it's in the office space. I'm assuming it's so basically. Uh, where's Maurice at? Okay, so we can call the editors to boardroom. Oh, he's in there because that's where the fax machine is, right? Oh, crap. Um. Crap. I I'm gonna say the editor. No. Okay, I'm gonna see the editor's office. Let me save just in case, because I want to make sure everyone stays alive. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Oh, there. Where do I need to go? Uh. Actually, uh, no. Thought, boardroom. Boardroom. Let's dial another room. Let's dial another... Boy! We're wasting time! He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready. But we yep. probably won't get to change our minds Border again. Boardroom, boardroom. Where do you want me to call? Boardroom, then I'll take him to the editor's room. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. The boardroom? I'm Don't dumbass. Don't be a horse's ass! Forrest, this is no time for jokes. What? Where should I call? Oh, he needs to get there. Crap. Call the archive. I'm the stupid. I'm 01. stupid. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where yeah, this dude's dead. You're moving to the kitchen. The kitchen? Dang it! It's just across from the archives. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? <sighs> uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're trying this because he died. We're trying this Call again. Call the editor's office. The extension editors. is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? He needs to get to the you're kitchen. To the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh yeah. Go somewhere he's already checked. I'm gonna need it. Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? We don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Yes, so he's going I can't there. believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Stop aunt. yelling. It was all Peggy's idea. Try to go. Alright, so he's gonna oh, be in the don't kitchen. Mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then making my move. I'll call when I get there. Alright. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. Yep. You ready? Oh. Ready as I'll ever be. Alright, let's go. Through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Good. I gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly. Or yeah, no. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. Okay. No, no, no. I got it. The 
the secret archive through my office. Where we keep Do all that one, then. Records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets okay. about we're, outer we're, uh... space? Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've okay. got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So yeah. should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? You say, uh, you yourself would spit you to radio? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he oh, right never here. turns off when he's here. Man, do that one. <laughs> I hope he's a screen fan. Glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best okay. and only late night Okay, I'm gonna press right there. Just okay. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. <laughs> Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. All right. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Yeah. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Yep. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Clearly you didn't because of the stutter. The radio works. He's like, e yeah, I knew that. So clearly you alive, didn't. Hopkins might we just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Hopkins. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't Hopkins. have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Hide. Oh, no. Wait. But wait. We're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. That is true. If you can do that, then... Yeah. Sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? All right. Send them to the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't so seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm yes. Sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. Turn He's on the move. Down. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Or turn all this Any stuff down. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? <laughs> I'll just call the whistling man a jackass. That'll get his attention. That's the plan, right? <laughs> sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? 
I... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're oh, pretty yes, far come on. Your judgment has kept me alive. What? So I don't know. Dash. What do you reckon? Uh, the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Okay. Things down. So I'm pretty sure I have to turn it down. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Yeah! Special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. You ain't kidding me. You, you Listeners, ain't kidding him. This is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in, See you in hell, kid! <laughs> we just Let's go! The whistling man. Forrest, Let's go. You beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't yeah. believe that actually worked! Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I can't believe it either. She pegging it back and raising, like, raising her hands I'll up. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Right <laughs> Let's see this. Call a few Oh, oh, come on, really? Waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do oh, an tomorrow for the gallows reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll sure, whatever. Take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. Woo! The whistling man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Actually, I'll play something else. Um, I played this one. All right, let's go. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. All right. Here. So I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.